Pre-order XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, coming to consoles and PC August 29th, 2017. Affiliate link below. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is 3 Buck Theater, and we're getting a little bit of rumor about what to expect from the reboot of Hellboy. Neil Marshall's R-rated Hellboy was called Rise of the Blood Queen. Now they dropped that subtitle and it's just Hellboy. I mean, by the time the movie comes out, which will be fall of next year, uh, you know, Hellboy, the original, will have been almost... 14 and a half years old so yeah you could probably just get away with that me personally and i've said this before and i'll say this again i would prefer them to you know just continue the story give us hellboy 3 proper and then go from there but uh, i understand I, I understand why they didn't do it it's hollywood i i get it i understand it just sucks because i like those two movies i like guillermo del toro i like ron perlman i love me some doug jones selma blair i just would love to i would love to have seen it also, more Seth MacFarlane in that role he played in the second one. Uh, but the point is, we have some updated information. So, Neil Marshall uh, and his movie start shooting here very soon. We know that Mila Jovovich is playing the Blood Queen. We know she will be the villain in the film. We know that uh, Ian McShane is playing Dr. Bloom, uh, that uh, John Hurt played in the 2004 film. And I think he'll be good in the role, and uh, and he'll, he'll stay around for a little bit longer than half a movie. Um, but basically, what we also know is that the BRPD, or the BPRD, sorry, is going to be making an appearance in this film. They were kind of left out of the two previous Hellboy films, focusing more on, on the character of Hellboy uh, and Abe Sapien uh, and, and keeping it small. You know, a little bit kind of dabbling out with the second one. But uh, there's a lot more characters that are there, and we actually apparently get to see them here. So it says here that we will see the, BR, the BPRD headquarters, which is now on a uh, snow-capped mountain inside you will see arcane artifacts cryptid skeletons freakish things encased in formaldehyde period weapons fans will also get to see the symbol of the hand holding a sword and in, in the words in absentia luci tenebre vincuent i i vincuent i don't speak latin so I don't know. Is that on King Arthur's sword? I, I, I have no idea. Um, now, it's, it, does, it does say here, who are the members of the BPRD this time around? You have Abe Sapien, because you're going to have to have Abe Sapien. Uh, I don't know if they're going to get Doug Jones back. I think they should. I really think they should. Uh, Doug is on Star Trek Discovery, but I'm sure he could come along and, 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 and get ready to do this. And I'm sure, well, I don't know if Doug would. I, as much as I would love Doug to come back, Doug and, and Guillermo are pretty tight. And that might be, you know, feel like a bit of a stab in the back if he, you know, reprises his role in a reboot. And this is not going to happen. It's wishful thinking. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. Uh, you got Alice Monahan, who can hear dead people. And she will also be, uh, use the spirit rack. Uh, Major Ben uh, Daimio, uh, or Daimio, a rugged military type with cold, calculating eyes, close cropped hair, and three jagged scars uh, raked across his grizzled face. Uh, has a cool transformation, uh, which won't be spoiled here. Other characters include uh, the Gru Gruagak, Gruagach. I have no idea how to pronounce that. A fairy creature that looks like a pig and is vengeful adversary of Hellboy. He blames Hellboy for his current state and wants revenge. That sounds cool. And that was, again, one of the things I really loved about Hellboy, uh, the Golden Army, was, like, we got to see more of of that world. You know, there was, like, the troll marketplace. And then you had, like, the, the giant, like, you know, tree spirit. Uh, and a bunch of other little creatures here and there. It just looked really, really, really cool. And, and getting more of that world, I think, would really kind of open up, you know, the fans to, to, to wanting to see more because of how engaging and entertaining it might be. Now, granted, the way that Guillermo creates those kind of worlds is very all into himself. I mean, you can sit there and, and, and you, you can't sit there and tell me that, uh, that the first Hobbit movie didn't ooze Guillermo. I mean, like he worked on all the designs for the creatures. He wrote, co-wrote the script. I mean, his, his fingerprints are everywhere all over that movie and you can feel it, which is really cool. And then you get to, you know, like you look at Hellboy 2 and how they did that. And it's I feel that Guillermo then took all of that, all of that that he had put together from from Hellboy 2 and then transitioned it into the Netflix show Troll Hunters. Uh, if you want my honest opinion, it's basically took from that to that. Like, I wouldn't be surprised at some point if Hellboy showed up in Troll Hunters just because. Um, but it also says here that uh, Baba Yaga, the witch. Uh, will be there. I didn't know John Wick is going to be having a cameo appearance in this movie. Uh, no, it's not. But 
if you know John Wick, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, King Arthur and Merlin will be there. Um, it's probably what's going to go back with that sword mentioned earlier. Uh, and it says that the Hellboy reboot will indeed be rated R, and this will be a darker horror story than the lighter tone from the previous Del Toro films. As you get to see a lot of cool action scenes that include severed heads, there will be some creatures of darkness. One creature has giant tentacles, which wrap themselves around the London Bridge, hence why the film will be filmed in London. Probably also because Pinewood Studios is there, and they might be able to get, you know, some uh, tax rebates, and it's just probably... You know, a lot of movies are filmed in London, so let's be realistic here. Uh, and then it says here that the film leaves it wide up for a sequel as you get to see who Hellboy is going after next. And of course, they're going to want to tie in with the sequel. You know, David Harbour didn't join on this particular project in order for it to not go forward as a franchise. Neil Marshall uh, probably did the same thing. He's probably hoping he can get... Uh, uh, you know, he can get a franchise going because Neil Marshall needs the love, in my opinion. Uh, you know, he's a good director. He's one of my favorite directors. The Descent is fantastic. Uh, his movie, his first uh, feature film, uh, Dog Soldiers from 1999 or from 2002, sorry, is, is a, you know, it's like a werewolf movie. Uh, you know, he did uh, Centurion from 2010, which basically went straight to DVD with Michael Fassbender. But that was a well done movie. Uh, personally, uh, I loved the hell out of Doomsday. I thought that was a very well made, excellent film. And then his work on Game of Thrones, uh, it was also fantastic, uh, you know, from season two, episode nine, the battle for the Black Water Bay or whatever the hell it's called. It was a good episode. Uh, so, yeah, I want to see Neil Marshall get some love because he hasn't really directed a feature film in a while. And, and this is kind of, I think, his chance to kind of get a resurgence in his career of getting back into the Hollywood system. And if done well, it could work. Uh, so the movie itself is, is said to be coming out in, uh, you know, fall of 2018, uh, and uh, we have to wait, but uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully as they start going into production here, I think in the next month, we'll start getting some maybe behind the scenes shots, maybe get a good solid look at, at David Harbour uh, as Hellboy, and uh, and maybe we'll, we'll be able to have some good, some good love some good love for the film. But what do you guys think about this? Does this sound pretty interesting? Are you are you excited for more BPRD characters to show up? Uh, are you hoping for more of a larger Hellboy universe to make an appearance? Therefore, that could be extrapolated upon with the, with the sequels. Do you think it will even get sequels? These are things I'm curious about. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day. Peace out.